ladies first. I notice a lot of this comedy they have on television is about relationships. Do you ever see this stuff? Relationship comedy? Well, I don't know much about relationships, but over the years, I've noticed a few things about the two sexes, and I'd like to discuss them. Men and women. The big, hairy, noisy male creatures, and the smaller, smoother, but nonetheless also quite noisy female creatures. Here's all you need to know about men and women. Women are crazy, men are stupid. And the main reason women are crazy is that men are stupid. It's not the only reason, but it's a big one. And by the way, if you don't think men are stupid, check the newspaper. 99% of all the truly horrifying shit going on in this world was initiated, established, perpetrated, and enabled or continued by men. And that includes the wave and the high five, two of history's truly low points. But as I say, besides knowing that men are stupid, it's also important to remember that women are crazy. And if you don't think women are crazy, ask a man. That's the one thing men aren't stupid about. They know for sure, way down deep in their hearts, that women are straight out fucking nuts. But it doesn't just happen. It isn't an accident. Women have good reason to be nuts. The main one being that in the course of life, compared with men, they have far more to put up with. They bear greater burdens. Think of it this way. In the big cosmic cafeteria, as human beings move down the chow line of life and reach that section where the shit is being spooned out, women are given several extra portions. And please understand, my motives here are not selfish or personal. I'm not saying all this stuff to get in good with women, although an occasional blowjob would be nice. But it's not a requirement. It's optional. BJO. Blowjob optional. Now, I just think it should be evident to any person who's being honest and thinking clearly that women carry a lot more of life's baggage than men. To begin with, they're smaller and weaker, so they get slapped, punched, raped, abused, and in general get the shit beat out of them on a rather regular basis. By men, of course, who are stronger. If women were stronger, this wouldn't be happening. Men would not raise a hand if they thought the balance was more equal. They'd back down quickly. Then again, if women were stronger, they'd probably be beating the shit out of men just for the fun of it. It's only fair. Another major problem for women, they have to look good all the time. Or at least they think they do. So they'll be attractive to their male protectors. Gotta look good tonight. Joey's gonna beat the shit out of me. Maybe I can get a nice kick in the fucking mouth. Gotta look my best. And looking one's female best requires a lot of things. Start with cosmetics. Just think of all the products and procedures a woman is forced to deal with in the world of cosmetics. Cleansers, toners, foundation, blush, face powder, lipstick, lip gloss, lip liner, eyeliner, eyeshadow, eyebrow pencil, mascara, nail polish, nail polish remover, manicures, pedicures, fake fingernails, fake eyelashes, face cream, neck cream, eye cream, thigh cream, foot cream, day cream, night cream, cold cream, wrinkle remover, makeup remover, hand lotions, body lotions, bath oils, bath beads, shower gels, bubble baths, scented baths, perfumes, colognes, toilet water, astringents, moisturizers, emulsions, exfoliants, peels, scrubs, depilatories, body wraps, facial masks, shampoos, conditioners, bleaches, dyes, rinses, tints, perms, straighteners, wigs, falls, rats, extensions, combs, barrettes, bobby pins, hair pins, hair nets, hair curlers, scrunchies, ribbons, bows, tie backs, headbands, streaking, frosting, teasing, spraying, moosing, blow drying, cutting, layering, curling, eyelash curling, eyebrow plucking, armpit shaving, leg shaving, crotch shaving, crotch waxing, leg waxing, eyebrow waxing, and a purse, a big fucking purse, so she can carry all this shit around with her, especially the makeup, which must be close at hand at all times. Gotta have my makeup, in case I run into Joey and he wants to beat the shit out of me. Gotta look my best. Maybe he'll punch me repeatedly in the kidneys and the stomach, so it doesn't mark up my face. He's so thoughtful. And my friend... I hope you're aware that when we talk about women looking good, we're also talking about clothing. Clothing is what generates all that shopping shit that occupies so much of a woman's time. Because the truth is, women have to buy, own, and wear an unbelievably bewildering number of garments. Slips, half-slips, camisoles, thongs, panties, pantyhose, stockings, half-hose, knee-highs, anklets, socks, leg warmers, garter belts, girdles, corsets, training bras, padded bras, sports bras, nursing bras, push-up bras, strapless bras, wonder bras, bustiers, teddies, petticoats, peignoirs, negligees, nightgowns, shorties, moo-moos, body stockings, blouses, sweaters, jerseys, pullovers, halter tops, miniskirts, maxi-skirts, slacks, suits, sunsuits, business suits, pants suits, culottes, capris, shorts, short shorts, high 
hot pants, formal gowns, bridal gowns, evening gowns, street dresses, sundresses, cocktail dresses, house dresses, house coats, winter coats, fall coats, spring coats, hats and scarves, brooches, pins, necklaces, pendants, medallions, lockets, bracelets, ankle bracelets, earrings, wedding rings, engagement rings, friendship rings, thumb rings, toe rings, and optional, of course, nipple, nose, and labia rings. And let's not even begin to talk about shoes. Oh, God, so sorry, girls. I take it back. But at least, let's keep it brief. Tennis shoes, sandals, open toes, slingbacks, mules, wedgies, flats, half heels, and high heels. High heels that damage a woman's feet, ankles, and knees, but make her ass look great. So how can you blame a guy for the occasional rape? Hey, the bitch was asking for it. She was wearing high heels. Now, generally, all this obsession with appearance has one purpose. It's supposed to lead to romance, and it is devoutly wished by some a wedding. A wedding is another one of those good deals women get. The man takes a wife, the woman is given away, her family pays for the whole thing, and everyone stands around hoping she gets pregnant immediately. Pregnant? Hey, another terrific treat for the gals. A chance to gain 40 pounds, puke in the morning, walk like a duck, get sore tits, and develop a nice case of hemorrhoids. What a deal! And such attractive clothing. Plus, she can't get up off the couch without help. Well, it's her own fault. This wouldn't have happened if she'd taken her birth control pill or used her diaphragm. Notice, her pill. Her diaphragm. But think of how fulfilling it can be. After all, now she has a baby. A baby she gets to practically raise alone. And if she decides to be a stay-at-home mom, she gets to cook, clean, sew, scrub, scour, wax, wash, dry, iron, do the shopping, drive the van, and entertain the guests. She's a housewife. An unpaid, in-family domestic servant. Admittedly, that description is a bit more in line with the old model. The new model is so much better. She gets a fucking job so she can be bringing something in. But somehow she still winds up being an unpaid-in family domestic servant after she gets home from the job. You know, the job, where she gets paid less than men for the same work, does not rise beyond a certain level in the company, and gets harassed all day long by some oversexed moron with a lump in his pants. Probably better just to stay home, where well, she doesn't have to be bothered with that pesky paycheck crap, and there's none of that nonsense about Social Security, pension plans, and unemployment money in case of divorce. Just alimony and child support, if the ex-husband can be located. The ex who probably thought she was looking a little used up and dumped her for someone whose milk glands hadn't sagged yet. Can't forget those milk glands, can we, girls? Tits, two tits, sticking straight out of your chest. In some cases, sticking straight out. Well, for a few years, anyway. Yes, girls, just by virtue of being female, you get to walk around all your life with two vulnerable milk glands hanging out in front of you like lanterns. And if somehow you should get the idea that men don't approve of the size and shape of those milk glands, you'll find plenty of social pressure to have them artificially enhanced. Such enhancement usually will be performed and supervised by men. Here's another physical treat for females. Periods. Cramping, bloating, and bleeding five days a month. Fifteen percent of the time. And you can add the time spent with premenstrual syndrome, PMS. Men gave it that name. If women had named it, it would be called my several days of shrieking and crying and depression just before my several days of bleeding, cramping, and bloating. Men don't quite see it from that angle. Men experience PMS as a problem for them. What's the matter, Joey? You don't look so good. Ah, my wife's got the PMS. Here are some more special female advantages, in case you haven't had enough. Pap smears, mammograms, hysterectomies, mastectomies, miscarriages, abortions, labor pains, childbirth pain, episiotomies, stretch marks, and breastfeeding, and postpartum depression. Can't imagine why she wouldn't feel good. And just to top it all off, menopause. Menopause. More strange behavior and exciting physical sensations. And in exchange for all of this, in exchange for all this abuse from nature, what is the woman's payoff? Why, she's allowed to get into the lifeboat first. At least theoretically. How often do you think that really happens? Oh, and let's not forget, many men are quite willing to hold the door open for her. In fact, some men are quite impressed with their willingness to do this. They brag about it.
Yeah, I beat the shit out of her a lot, but you know something? When she runs from one room to the other, I always hold the door open. I'll tell you what a bad deal women got. They're in the majority on this planet, and they still wound up with the shitty end of the stick. That's how big a hosing they got. Oh, and one other inequity I neglected to mention. Very unequal. But this one works in women's favor. They live longer than men. And remember, this happens in spite of all the shit they have to put up with. So who do you think is tougher, men or women? Why'd you guess? And don't forget, women have the huge added burden of having to put up with men. 